All right, guys, so we are going to make this really cute spider's web with our hands. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a black marker, maybe a red marker too, and some glitter and glue if you have some. If not, don't worry, we can do it without. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to put our hand on the table or on the paper, and we're going to want to trace around with our pen. And it takes a little bit of practice to get all the way around our fingers and for it to not tickle. Going all the way around. Oops. And it's okay if it gets a little bit wobbly, that's okay. All the way around. To there. Now what we want to do is we want to do the same with this hand. And this is where it gets tricky because I don't write with this hand, but we're going to try. And we want it to go all the way around. And you might be able to have a family member or a parent help you at home. All the way around. Oh gosh, it tickles. Mm -hmm. oh, that finger looks a little bit funny now. That's okay. And then, oops, all the way around. Perfect. Now that one's not as neat, but that's okay because that's the, my other hand, isn't it? So now that I have my two hands, now it becomes we need to add the spider. And we're going to put the spider right here in the middle. To make the spider, we're going to make a kind of like a circle shape. Like that. Then we want to make a small circle shape. It looks like a bit like a snowman. And then down here, we're going to do the body. Got some bits on my, there we go. I'm going to do the body right here. And we want this body to come all the way down. It's kind of like a point. And then all the way back up to here. And come all the way back up like that. And there's my spider's body. Now what we can do is we can add some detail to your spider. And we've already got this line. So that's actually pretty handy because we're going to make this line go all the way down towards the back of the spider and all the way back up. And that's where I'm gonna color it in red. And then we're gonna do some patterns on this part. So I'm gonna make a line coming down here. And then I already had this line, which is really helpful. So I'm just gonna go over that one. I'm gonna do one more. It's almost gonna look like an orange with lots of different sections. And then one more section right there. Perfect. I'm actually gonna neaten that up right there better okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to color these guys in so let's color this one in. perfect i'm going to do this edge and then this edge i'm going to leave those two two stripes in the middle or three stripes in the middle i should say okay and then this bit i'm going to do in black all the way around. And then all the way around this way. All the way down here. Perfect. So now what we need to do is make our spider look a little bit scarier. So I'm going to give him some little spikes right here, with little horns, color those in. Perfect. Now it's time to make the spider's web. And to make the spider's web, we're going to kind of hook our fingers together with our web. So watch what I do right here. I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to make a kind of like a whoop, like a hook, a whoop. And then one more to this finger, then to this finger. Oh, cool. These are looking good already. And then we're going to go all the way down to the thumb. All the way across to the next thumb. And then we're going to go all the way up here. Whoop. And then to the next finger. To the next finger. <laughs> and to the next finger. And to the end. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing all again. Underneath. To the finger. All the way along. Creating these little hooks. All the way to the thumb. Whoop. Cross, all the way back up to this finger. Cross, down, down, perfect. Okay, and then one more right here to the tips. Oh, that looks so cool. And then we're gonna do some big ones across this area right here.
Okay, so now that we've added all of our spider's web to the background of our spider, I might actually add one more right here. Now we get to add the spider's legs. And spiders have how many legs? Yep, eight. So we need to make sure that we are adding eight legs to our spider. And we want them to be a little bit wider. So I'm going to do one right here. And we want them to be a little bit wider at the top. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And then coming down. Because we want them to stand out from our web. So they want to be a bit thicker. I want another one right here. Really chunky, creepy legs. And then coming down. One more right here. And then coming down this way. And then one more right here. Coming down this way. There we go. And now we need to do the same this way. I want them to try and be quite even. So I'm going to try and make them line up with the other legs on the other side and be symmetrical. That means the same on both sides. I'm going to come this way. Create my legs with that bend in there. I'm going to have another leg right here. Coming down this way. And there's his elbow. Make them nice and thick. And then one last one. Up here and then down here. Perfect. And they're all about the right si size. Maybe a little bit longer on this one. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Now we need to get ourselves a red marker. And I'm going to color in this back in this red. And then I might even add some. I've already got this little line right here. So I might add another line to make it symmetrical again. Maybe like a little detail like this or a little pattern. You guys can make up your own minds what you want to do to your spider's back right there. All right, next up is the fun part. We get to use the glitter. So I have my glue. If you don't have glitter, this looks great just as it is. I'm going to add some glitter just to the spider's web. So it looks as if it is kind of shining when it gets a little bit kind of wet in the rain or the snow. And I'm just squeezing that bottle. It's a bit tricky to squeeze these bottles. And if you have a brush that you can clean afterwards, that's really helpful too. Just adding a little bit, and this glue dries clear, so that's really good. I'm just adding a little bit to all of these different parts of the web. I'm not doing the spider's legs because I don't want them to be blending in with that web. Just adding all my glue. Now, once we get ready for the glitter, we need to be able to make sure that we're on a surface that can be easily cleaned. Okay, and I'm going to do a little dot right here on the back of the spider and a little dot right here. All right, let's have a go. So I'm going to put, I have put my glitter, I'm sorry, I have put my work on my messy mat and you could use a newspaper and I'm going to sprinkle my glitter all over my page. But I'm trying to keep it on just on the worksheet and you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's so much glitter. But the great thing is, are you ready? I've got my messy mat, which means I can sprinkle it onto my messy mat. And then, tap. <gasps> Voila. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so pretty. <gasps> and guys, that is how you make your wonderful spider's web. And the great thing is, our glitter, we can put back into our jar. So I can do that real quick. So I'm going to put it kind of into a pile. There we go. I'm going to take my lid off my glitter. And this is great because that means we get to use it for something else. I'm just going to pour it in to my glitter jar. There we go. That way we don't get glitter everywhere because glitter is crazy and it doesn't get out very easy. There we go. Still got a little bit right there, but I can put that in the trash. Let's have a look at our spiders. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. Look at our spider webs. Oh, I love them. I actually like this one more with this kind of bright colored cobwebs. Oh, amazing. Have a very cool day, guys, and I hope you get to make your really cool spiders at home.